Hi, happy Monday. Thank y'all very much for clicking on today. So this is gonna be just a um, just a general read. I'm just gonna pull a message out. This is an important message for whoever needs to hear it. I'm using some personal cards that I made. And I do want to say thank you um, to the people that have been engaging, that understand where I'm coming from. It is greatly appreciated. I haven't seen a tremendous change on this channel but on my other channel, I did see a significant change or whatever. But I just want to express gratitude to the people who are actually doing what I asked them to do. Because um, it's not like I'm asking for money. Like I be on here begging or asking for donations. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to express gratitude about that today. Okay, what does the collective need to hear right now? So look, this card access to you is a privilege. It's like you showing up here as an icon, okay? It's like you're iconic, duh. So yeah, it's like, of course, access to you is gonna be a privilege. And um, I'm gonna mention this message again, but y'all could be wanting to check out, like if you just um, watching this reading today, you could be wanting to check out my other video that I did, but it's not a reading, y'all. Um, when I post those type of messages, that is actually like a, and I hate to say this, but it's like a pet peeve of mine when um, I post those type of messages, but it's not a reading. Like I didn't use cards basically to receive that message, but sometimes the energy do be showing up in the cards. But, um, and I like to post those type of messages, like if I do receive one before I do any type of reading. But the energy that I'm getting here for some people, you could definitely be getting a lot of recognition, right? And you could be wanting to um, just be careful, be mindful of the type of people that you allow to have access to you. Because that's the energy that was given in that message that I had put out. It's like somebody in something about to be could be significant. It's like for some people, it's like, you know. Um, you could definitely have some type of recognition, what you do for work or career. It's like your face is shown. People recognize you. Like when you go out or even like on social media, you have a large social social media um, presence or whatever. And sometimes they'd be like kind of, it just depend, depends on what type of platform. Because it's like you can have a whole bunch of subscribers or followers, but it's like, you know, they may not be truly supporting you, unfortunately. That's just how it is. But when it comes towards your energy, like them actually interacting with you, like face to face, it's like the access is very limited or you could be wanting to keep it like very limited. That's what it seems like. What else? Um, actually, I'm not going to pull another card drawn, but I'm just going to clarify this just to see what comes out. What does access to you as a privilege? means here for the collective why is this showing up for them access to you is a privilege so the ace of swords is showing up let me see what else comes out here for some people you could be speaking your truth about this too and it's like don't even feel bad when it comes towards um like not allow not allowing access to you that's what it looks like but something in regards to like using your voice, exercising your throat chakra, okay. Give me some insight on access to you as a privilege. What does access to you as a privilege mean for the collective? Yeah, something about like someone's car, y'all, is very significant. Not really sure if someone's getting a new car or you know how people be posting like um, their brand new cars and stuff on social media. Um, it's like the way things been going now is like you could definitely be want to be very cautious about that. Because the chariot is showing up here, but I keep seeing that like or getting that type of energy. So where it's like something's being put on display or something. And I'm talking about like the whole car, like I am doing a reading in my car, but I'm talking about, you know how people post like the whole, you know, like exactly what type of car they're driving. You could be wanting to, um, it's like basically that's like giving um, people access to you. It's like now they know um, what type of car that you drive. And for some reason, it's like, it's just super weird. Cause it's like people be wanting to see like, um, where people live at it's like they looking at you know if you got like a social media platform it's like they trying to see where you live at 
how your house look inside and stuff super weird but um yeah that's what's showing up here so far let me see what else comes out give me some insight on access to you as a privilege it's like you can be doing a cooking video and they talk about some oh well why are you cooking you know how people be cooking outside and stuff i like watching them type of videos they be cooking out cooking out in nature and it's like the person like somebody's just assuming that it's like they don't have a house or something super weird it's like the person like watch the person cook don't stop worrying about their personal life or where they live at how they live in and it's almost like trying to like size you up or you know basically just being nosy give me some more insight here on access to you as a privilege for the collective please Give me some insight on access to you as a privilege for the collective. It looks like you're super busy, right? We got a king of wands showing up here. Um, Could be like a male fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. So, uh, for some people, somebody could be asking, because I see like where the throat chakra is being exercised or used. Somebody could be asking for access to you or trying to figure out how they can get access to you. I don't see anything negative with like the um, energy, but besides what I was talking about, like the whole social media thing, it's like, of course, people can easily have access to you or see you like on social media, like what you post. But I'm talking about like actually being in your energy. It's like, do you have time for these people? Because the two of pentacles, it looks like someone's busy. So it's like you may be, you know, it's like your schedule could be full or it's like, you know, um, you could just be busy. And it's almost like you may not, uh, you may choose to be doing other things than uh, um, besides like have like allowing people to have access to you. Give me some more insight on this um, energy that came out for the collective. Why is access to, to you as a privilege showing up for the collective, please? So we got the nine of cups showing up here. Yeah, somebody wants to connect with you for who and the, the rose could be reversed too. Oh, the card done fell. But yeah, two of cups, somebody wants to connect with you, but it's almost like um asking permission. That's what it seems like. And I was gonna mention this, but um, and this this don't have to be like an actual situation for somebody, but you know how people have like those um call buttons, like it could be the type of apartment that they live in, or it could be like someone's house too. But it's like they you um it's like you gotta call before you come. It's giving that type of energy. But even like if the person do show up, it's like they can actually like you can hear their voice. It's almost like somebody's um coming up to your building, um, or like the doorman type of situation. And it's like they're saying, like, hey, it's so and so. And it's almost like, you know, it's like it's up to you on whether or not you wanna say, like, yes, you can come on up or no. So something about that could be significant but with the nine of cups coming out here it looks like it's a yes towards like this access or um it's almost like um feeling like honor or proud that and this could be somebody in your energy or somebody that you're already connected to but it's like someone feels proud or honor that they um are allowed access to you because it's a privilege it's like not everybody has that privilege. Give me some more insight here on this energy for the collective. Why is access to you as a privilege? nine of wands showing up here we got the will of fortune card judgment did show up here too there is um a past energy resurfacing 
And if you feel triggered by that, please click off because everybody's story is different. Of course, not everybody wants to connect with the past energy, but specifically with this, um, you could be hearing from somebody. It looks like somebody's popping up. They could be wanting to surprise you too, but it's almost like they're trying to see, you know, if, if you're going to allow access to you. Because it's like they already know, right? They already know. So I guess that will determine on like whether or not this will resonate with a lot of people. This could be some people's confirmation. If the person is playing with your time and your energy, y'all, then of course, this not the person. It's like you could be wanting to say no. But in this specific um, situation, the person already know not to waste your time. <laughs> like that's what, that's what it's looking like. They already know not to waste your time. Look, we got the Wheel of Fortune card showing up here. So I'm seeing something in regards to like a second chance. Um, new beginnings could be, you know, significant as well. But it's like somebody wants to connect with you. They already know and you could already know too. It's like not to waste time or not like, you know, not to waste the person's time basically. So it's like you could be already aware, you know, of like energy. It's like, you know, you're not about to be just playing in somebody's energy or whatever. So, yeah. Because you know how like people say they want to connect with you, but it's like they're not serious. It's like they don't even take their self serious. So you can't take them serious. And something about like, um, and I don't know who needs to hear this, y'all, but like, I feel like this is a big red flag. But you know how like, let's just say somebody wants to connect with you. Um, you may hear from somebody that you haven't heard from in a long time. I feel like if the person shows up late or it's like they comp they try to act like they forgot, they're playing with your time and your energy. So something about that is significant. Like, let's just say you like somebody does want a second chance with you, but it's like they show up late first time y'all trying to reconnect or whatever. And they could be making excuses. Hey, the excuse could be valid. But um, for me, it's like I wouldn't even deal with the person because I feel like that's playing with my time. Especially if you don't say nothing ahead of time. Like they just show up late. It's like, oh, well, I kind of forgot or I was doing it. No, you playing with the person's time. That's how I see it. But... I'm gonna get another card out. And for some people, they may they may sound kind of strict, y'all, but it's like, no, you can call ahead of time because it literally takes two a minute, possibly not even that, to send a text message like, hey, I'm gonna be running late. Or they tell you they're gonna be somewhere at a certain time, they not there, they come an hour later and it's almost like it's nothing. It's like, no, that's playing with time, playing with somebody's time. Give me some more insight on this energy for the collective. Give me some insight on access to you as a privilege for the collective, please. And the Wheel of Fortune card showing up here. And y'all, this confirmation, because look, strength card showing up here. Yeah, somebody wants to get close to you. But it's almost like, and I feel like this could be the masculine energy towards the um, feminine energy they may be putting you on a pedestal it's like they may feel like they're like they're not worthy of having um access to you or like they may not see it um it's like they know it's a privilege to be in your energy or to connect with you right but for them they could be dealing with some insecurities or it's like they need the courage or the strength of um, basically the confidence to ask that's what it looks like. So, yeah. But with the full card showing up here, it looks like someone's taking a leap, a leap of faith towards a new beginning. And I feel like um, something in regards to, like, access granted when it comes towards, like, a new beginning, a new start. Something about, like, new security codes or something. Because, like, I was picturing when I was talking about the whole... Um, and I don't know exactly what it's called, but you know how, like, one of them things or like, people have, like, at their apartment... Um, complex and I guess it would be like a luxury I guess something like at a high rise type of luxury apartment so where the person can call the person up so you can like hear their voice so something about like phone calls could be significant as well yeah and with the full card showing up here um, this figure even though it's showing up as a woman but it's holding a phone up so somebody wants to call you and even too like with the phone situation y'all like I'm not really like a big phone talker um, but like, 
but something in regards to like even like facetiming you y'all like i don't do that facetime thing at all i don't like it um but something about that could be significant too it's like not everybody be having access to you even like when it comes to facetime because some people be letting like too many people have access to them um especially with like the whole facetime thing because like they can see where you at and it's like where you going i don't like that type of stuff but something about it could be significant as well but it looks like some um like a good situation here so and you will know like trust the signs okay like the stuff that i was talking about them playing with your time they showing up late it's like they ain't got no type of excuse it's like almost like it's nothing it's like no my time is valuable so you need like if you saying you're gonna be somewhere at seven o'clock are we we meeting somewhere at seven o'clock then you better be there a little bit early not no 7 30 and it's like you ain't hear nothing from the person <laughs> give me some more insight on access to you as a privilege for the collective please so a little six of cups coming out here so yeah, I see where you could be um, meeting up with somebody, y'all. A past energy is here. This could even to be like past lives, but I feel like this is somebody that you are already familiar with. This is somebody that you already have some form of like a memory or it's like you remember this person. That's what I'm hearing specifically. It's like you remember this person. You, re you remember how they look. Um, you could like remember how they smell too or like what they had on something about that is significant like how they was dressed yeah but look with the eight of swords showing up in the strength card so yeah this confirmation on what i had mentioned because the strength card was showing up at the bottom when the full card came out i believe yeah there's a lot of somebody's like overthinking it looks like it's the masculine energy honestly they're overthinking it's like they may feel like they're not worth it or they're, they're not worthy. Like they're not good enough for you. But actually it's like they are. It's like y'all can connect or there is a connection there. So that's what's showing up here for this read, y'all. I'm not about to spend too much time on this. But um, don't be letting people play with the access to you, okay? Because it is a privilege. Like it is. But I'm going to go. Thank you very, very much for watching.